And I now give the floor to His Excellency Bashar Jafari, permanent representative of the Syrian Arab Republic to the United Nations. You have the floor, Thank sir. Thank you so much. Shukran, Rais. Thank you, Madam President. My delegation aligns with the statement made by the Group of 77 and China. Allow me to make the following remarks in my national capacity and to put forward topics and challenges that require drastic resolutions and genuine partnerships. My country has worked tirelessly in order to complete the first national report on sustainable development, which was published in April 2019. We were hoping that we would be among the states that submitted their voluntary national reviews this year. Nonetheless, this national report would uh, be updated and developed before the review next year and would be the basic step for preparation of subsequent national reports in the implementation of Agenda 2030 while launching the development process as a component of the recovery, recovery efforts from the terrorist war launched against Syria. We agree in principle that the implementation of the 2030 Agenda is primarily a national responsibility. But facing all those challenges that impede the implementation is a universal and global responsibility. In no uncertain terms, I would like to pose a question to those who are responsible for the implementation of the agenda. How could a country like Syria, which is living extraordinary circumstances, would deserve from the international system and would justify a special attention to Syria, as provided for in the agenda itself? How could some policies that include coercive measures, and unilateral coercive measures that amount to siege and economic terrorism. Madam President, today we see after four years of the adoption of 2030 Agenda, a pivot by some international parties towards selectivity and to cancel out or to ignore basic principles and goals in the agenda, which would undermine the consensus that was achieved at the time of adoption. If such an exclusive approach continues, then we would continue to meet every year in order to express our concern over the slow pace of the acceleration towards achieving SDGs while we see an acceleration of conflicts and the indicators of military spending at the global level. Thank you. I thank the distinguished representative of the Syrian Arab Republic.